Alright, ready. Testing. One, two, one, two. What's up, world? <laughs> this your boy, Pope. Introduce him. <laughs> hey, and we got them just starting to YouTube. Subscribe as a family. You know, family oriented. And what we're doing is we got a video of us. I'm nervous, but we got a video of us trying this universe of yum yum. I seen it online, and well, she seen it online, and she thought it would be a good, interesting thing to try, you know, snacks and stuff, well, assorted goods from around the world, you know? And at first, at first, I was skeptical, like, what the, candy from another <laughs> place and whatnot, like, hell no, but, you know, I'm open-minded, so I thought it would be a good idea, you know, something that we can do, you know, come together as a family, you know, and try to see how this goes, so... This is how the box come. It's called Universal Yum Yum. You know what I'm saying? And it's food, it's snacks from around the world and whatnot. It's a yum box. And this and this one comes from Van Gogh. The birthplace of Van Gogh, you know, and we're gonna try these snacks and whatnot and tell y'all how this is. Y'all gonna be with us while we taste these and see how this goes and make it a fun experience. You know? What you think, babe? I think so. And we're going to play some games because apparently the little thing has like trivia games. So so we're going to open this box up and get it going from there. Okay. okay. Oh. Okay, so, so it has this little booklet with it. Oh, hold on. It's from the Netherlands. This is from the Netherlands, you know, okay, and, the Netherlands. and this is, you know, what is this? I guess it's saying what what the different things. Oh, okay. This is how the lifestyle is in the Netherlands, okay, Germany. So, like what's so this is the, Ger yeah, like food. I'm sorry. Yeah, how the how the lifestyle is in Germany and whatnot and stuff like that. But yeah, this is the Netherlands in Germany. And what's the booklet? It's um okay. So the booklet has like different. It has recipes that you can make with. Okay, so like. Recipes of stuff that they use and they make in or, this particular or oh in Germany like in uh -huh. Germany in that country Okay, okay, so and also the snacks that we have in the box is pictures It's the same one in this little booklet Okay, and it tells like what it's made of and all yeah, that good see? stuff So I see we got some if I ain't mistaken, you know This is some chips, you know some chips uh, what's that? Pin, pin cha cha cha, cha pin cha 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 cha, pin cha cha, pin cha cha. I feel it's paprika inspired by the swinging taste of Cuba. Okay. This should be interesting. You know, these look like some. You know, to me, they look like some new kind of funyuns. You know. Yeah, they do. Look they look like, like some funyuns, just you know, different texture. Twist. Okay, uh -huh. I get it. I got you. Okay, what's next? Okay, we got some. This look like some fruit snacks. It says, "Oh man, how you boss? Boss search." Hey, look, don't even. <laughs> nah, cause don't even wreck yourself trying to do it. Hold on. Boss sir sir Basarucho Cadillacs. Basucho crock crock. Basucho. Buster, hey look, I ain't even about to wreck my brain, baby but baby Cadillac. It's some baby <laughs> Cadillac, some wine gum, fruit snacks, fruit snacks, fruit snacks, fruit snacks. This is what it's called. Don't hurt yourself. Is uh, to me, I was about to say that with bronchitis, but that's just me trying to be funny. But I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just letting you know that's the fruit snacks. If okay. You know, if you know how to pronounce it correctly, pr pr if you know how to, you can if, put it in the comments. No disrespect to Germany. I'm just sitting here being me. I mean, I'm not trying to be funny, but I don't know how to pronounce it. If you know either. how to pronounce it and you see this video and you want to give your insight on how to pronounce it the correct way, I would be glad that you do that. Whoever watching this, if you like this video, you can subscribe and we will show more videos because this is a monthly subscription. So every time we get a box, we're going to try it with y'all and we're going to give y'all our outtake on it and whatnot. So... Hit the like button, but we're going to keep it going. Now, what's that? What's, what's that? It looked like croutons, but apparently they call them biscuits. Mini cheese crispies. Let me see. The original cheese biscuit. Okay. It's called Roca. The original cheese biscuits. And it's, it's, it's made by it's, it's made from Gouda. 
Gouda cheese. That's some good cheese. That, that's some good cheese. Yeah. But they mini cheese crispers. That's the cheese we had on the sandwiches that day, right? Yeah. Yup, good yes, cheese. Man. This is what the packages look like, you know. On a turkey sandwich. Yeah. Okay. Turkey and Let me see. Sandwich. Let me see what else we got. Okay, we got choco choco stroop waffles. Delicious cookies made from Holland. Okay, okay, you know. All right, this is this is this is what the, this is what it looks like. It's made from Max and Alex. Max. Choco stroop waffles. Okay, so this is basically a cookie from Harlem. This is from Harlem. Okay, okay so, they, so are they from different places? Um, I think on this little paper, it is. Let's see. No, that's I just don't know showing. That's just showing. Nah, no, that's just showing. I mean, Harlem is from there too, Belgium and all of that, you know. All right, and then we get this little snack bag, the Yum Bag, and it got a whole bunch of assorted type candies that we are all gonna try to, and we're gonna give y'all our input on it, you know? So my assumption is the snacks is different snacks around the Netherlands? Is, is that or is it around uh, Van Gogh? That's what I'm wondering. Or is Van Gogh in the Netherlands? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but we'll find out. We gonna look. We learning just like y'all learning. So, hang in there with us. Yep. Okay. And this this paper come with some type of games to go along with it. Game of the goose and yeah. stuff like that. I don't know. We'll do that another time. They even send you look. It's this little awards card. So. Oh, that's like to judge the candies to see uh -huh. if we, how they taste and whatnot. Yep. Okay. Which one okay. we thought was the best and which one we thought was the weirdest. Okay, so look. None of well, these got, look weird. So. Do we got a we got a pen? You got a pen? Yep. A piece I got of pen. pen right All now. right, bet. So you want me to get a piece of paper? paper? No, I won't need no piece of paper. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do? We're about to get to trying these and tell y'all how they taste. Yeah. So where you want to start at? All right. I want to try. Let's try the Gouda Roca. We're gonna try these first. Okay. The so biscuits. first, we're gonna try these the original cheese biscuit biscuits. Made by Roco Company and whatnot, and we're gonna see how these go. All right. All right. Yes, it will. Mmm. This is what it looks like. They flat. They flat. Little flat croutons. Flat. They look like yeah. Look you like you know little, what they look like. What's that? Uh. Those little banana chips, but yeah, or, like the banana or chips. remember them, or the chicken biscuits that they make, like the, the, yeah, the crackers yeah, that's made like that. Yeah, try to get one. You gotta get one with me. We're both gonna try these together. All right, all right, all right. Now on the count of three, we're gonna try these. It smells like a cheese it. Yeah, it do. It smells like cheese it. All right, one, two, three. It tastes like a cheese it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these taste like cheese. Just like cheeses. But it's good. It's got a it's got more of a Mm-mm. I'm getting cheese it vibes, babe. No, I'm saying it tastes like cheeses, but it also got a vibe of It tastes like Hmm. Cheeses. It tastes like cheeses, but cooked in a different way. You get what I'm saying? It's like, like a soft, a pastry cheese. Like it tastes not. like it tastes like a crouton. Mm -mm. It tastes like it got mm -hmm. the it got the it got the crunch of like how a crouton would taste. Like a wafer though. Like a but no, uh uh, yeah, like, like a, a like a wafer, but instead of light a, like a wafer. Yeah, it's light like a wafer, but it tastes like it tastes a like a cheese it, like yeah. the cheese part of the cheese it. Like it tastes like the cheese, like when you bite the cheese and all the, the, the flavor coming to it, that's what it tastes like. But the texture is like, like a wafer or a crouton after you bite it. Mhm. Mm okay. And that's the Roku. Those are all right. Roku, I actually like them. Roku is the TV thing. That's the Roku. I meant Roku. 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 I apologize. Roku. All, all right. right. Which one you choose next? Okay. So, so I ain't gonna say. I'm not gonna judge it. We by, probably gotta wait to do this though. Yeah, I'm not gonna judge it yet. I okay. just wanted to see what it is. Now wait, let's read about the Roka. Um, is this the one you read about it at? You can, but um, now 
I want to try this catalog. I want to try this these fruit snacks. Okay. These fruit snacks. Made oh. by made by Auto Drop, the brand Auto Drop. And these are the fruit snacks. I'm not gonna go about trying to pronounce it, but I I'm we, we it's, the words start with B and it's it, Cadillac like, like I said, shape. So are we just gonna call them B Cadillac. We gonna that call means, them fruit snacks. Brie we Cadillac. Gonna, B we gonna keep them fruit snacks. <laughs> B. Get one. Yeah. Smell good. Smell good. Smell real good. Smell really fruity. Okay. Now really, these are the fruit snacks. Smell like strawberry. All mm -hmm. right. And On it's. The, Okay. One, two, three. God, leave me. Whoa. I'm going to strain a jaw trying to chew these things. That's your jewel. God damn, yeah, it's y'all. Yeah, real chewy. Mm. Mm, excuse my friend. Family oriented. Mm. But, um. Okay, so. This, to me, it just tastes like a strawberry fruit snap. But if you don't like chewy stuff, it tastes funny. It tastes like it tastes funny. All right. Is it? Well, what's in it? It, it got one. I think it's got them one flavor. Wine? It's wine gum, but it's wine gum mac fruit fruits mac. Fruit smack with the M M A A K. Mm -hmm. Probably how it's pronounced over there, but it's a Dutch thing. So these are unique gummies that are made by Auto Drop, Dutch confectionery that's been making transportation-related sweets since 1965. The first product was a black it's, licorice car tire. Interesting. It's 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 very it's tough. Yeah. It's not soft like the re actual gummy bear or gummy stuff that we have. Mm -mm, not at all. But it has a unique taste to it. Like, it, it don't just taste like berries. Like, it, it, it has a funny taste. I, it tastes like, um... Um, mm, I wouldn't say... I, did, I taste strawberry. I... You I, know what it tastes like to me? What's that? Y'all remember that old candy that your grandma used to have in the candy bowl? With the strawberry wrapper on it, it was red, and then the top part that you untwist was green. It tastes like, yeah, it tastes like that. But I, I would like say, that. but no, I would say that tastes better than this. I, I, me personally, I wouldn't be a fan of this. I was if, never a fan of it. If I was to go there and get some candy or something like that, this, this would not be, not be the, mm -mm. yeah, that would not be the junk. I'm not a so, fan. So. That was the gummies, the fruit snacks. I, me personally, I'm not a fan of these. Me either. Mm -mm. All right. Mm -hmm. So what are we gonna it. try next? All right. You wanna try the chips? All right. We're gonna try the chips next. Now these are made by Chio Chow, however you wanna pronounce Pin -cha -cha. it. Pinchacha. And these are the pinchachas. Pinchachas. Pinchacas. Pinchacas. Pinchachas. To tomato. Tomatoes. The same thing. You know what I'm saying? Inspired by the swinging taste of Cuba. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get these in the world. Mm -hmm. They smell spicy. It smell like paprika. It smell exactly like paprika. All right. I have so many questions right now. All right. And that's the chips. All right. All right. One, two, three. Okay. This tastes like it's flavorful. Let's no. Okay, it is flavorful. Very flavorful. It tastes like it tastes like damn bacon bits mixed with a loaded potato. Yeah, I know. I'm tasting like a ham bacon. Flavor. Like yeah, it tastes like a smoke. It tastes, it's like a smoke, yeah, it's like a some smoke smoked flavor. bacon bits mixed with a loaded potato. I guess it's, I'm guessing the potato is is from the chip part. And the, and, it, and the crunch, it tastes like, like it don't taste like Funyun rings. It don't taste like Funyun. 
It has the, the texture. texture of a flame. No, though. actually, it don't. It doesn't to you. Mm -mm. It does to me. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, a little bit. But at the same time, as you get into it, it don't taste like a funyun no more. Like no, it doesn't taste like a funyun. Not it like, a, like the texture. Like that, that, that crunch. Yeah. I don't know. It's like a it's like a funyun mixed with a mixed with the cheese doodles, like the cheese puffs. Yep. yep. Like the cheese puffs. It mm -hmm. tastes like that, and the funyun they meet yeah. at a at a got them stand, and you know what I'm saying, and they created this shit. You like it? Yes, it's actually pretty good. It's okay. It's and yeah. It's it's actually pretty good. I I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it. I would. I wouldn't just go to the I store would. and pick up some pinchachas. I would. Now that I've tried it, I actually would now. Like no, if I haven't tried it, I probably wouldn't. So but this eat, actually good. So this is all right. You gonna eat those? Not right now. <laughs> but these are all right with me. These are all right with me. All right. Now I want to try this cookie. Okay. This is made by Choco Stroop Stroop Waffles. I like cookies. Or Stroop Stroop Waffles. I can't pronounce it. Like I say, excuse me. Stroop I have Waffle. I'm not trying to be funny. Stroop. I just, I mean, you know, but this looks like it's gonna be a good cookie. It looked like it got. It looked like it got caramel and. That uh shortbread on the inside of it. Yeah, what's the matter? Like it looked like one of them Brussels strobes. Damn, that shit. Good. Damn, it this is caramel. It looked like a moon okay. pie. This is what the cookie looked like. This is what it looks like, you know. It's as you see, it's filled with caramel. I see, and this is from the from Choco Stroop Waffles, made by Max and Alex Cookies. All right, break you a piece off of it. No, not too big. Well, just enough to get. Go ahead, go ahead, break a piece off. Break on. Break it, break it. Who cares? We're gonna try it together. Okay, let me get a piece of that one. I'm gonna put that down. What's the matter, baby? The baby Dang, is this is some this some rich caramel. Oh, the baby, yes, baby. Yes, son. Yes, we have a we have a four month old son. Yes. Yeah, grab him right quick. Hey son. Say hey y'all. Say hey. Say hey, you two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He just wanna be up in our okay. lap. Okay. In my lap. All yeah. right, you ready? So this is the Choco cooking, and we're about to try it. One, two, three. That is some rich caramel. Mm -hmm. That is what caramel is supposed to taste like. He doesn't like caramel. I don't care for caramel. Never have for real. But if I were to get some caramel, this is where I need to get it from. <laughs> this is some good caramel. I like it. It's good. Yeah, it's good too. It tastes like it tastes like the shortbread cookies that you get from Keebler. Mm hmm. That's what I was gonna say. Probably, but it's just dipped in chocolate covered with caramel. And you know how if you go to like Food Lion and you get the um the cookies, like I think it's a little Debbie section in the little Debbie section, and it's like the bars, the bar, and it has like it has like cookie, like a shortbread cookie, and then a layer of caramel mm -hmm. with chocolate covered. Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like. It's good. Mm, I like that. Yeah, that's a good cookie. Mm -hmm. And that was by chocolate. Yes. That was good. Like All right. That. And last but not least is the Yum Bag. So we got three different candies to sit here and make with y'all. Like I say, this is the Yum Bag. And this candy is from Van Gogh or the Netherlands, which is in Germany. Mm -hmm. And by far, y'all have some good stuff. You know? I would say my favorite so far is the cookie. 
Yeah. Yours is a cookie? Mine's is a cookie. I'm not too sure about the chips. That's kind of like, I have, I just, I'm not sure. And the, oh, and the crackers. I like the crackers. Okay, I can agree with you on that. But I like the chips as well. Yeah. So these are the different kind of candies. You got a cappuccino candy. You got a chewy hazelnut. I mean, crispy hazelnut. You have Holland Hoppies. Holland Hoppies? Holland Hoppies. Hoppies. Mm-hmm. What this is. Holland Hoppies. I think I have a friend that's from Germany. I'm going to have to answer about this because I have questions. And this is called Napoleon. I don't know what it is, but it's called Napoleon. Okay. This is what that looks like. This is what, this is crispy hazelnut. So is it, okay. Crispy hazelnut. Oh, so these aren't the same thing. No, they're not. Okay, so. All right. So we're going to try one of these together. Okay. This is the Napoleon. Napoleon. Um, this, I don't know. This looks like a Tootsie Pop. Just without the get, they're going to stick. This okay. is what it looks like, a Tootsie Pop without the stick. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? How many licks can it take it. to get to the center? Uh, uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. right. One, two, three. It's good. <laughs> oh! Okay, now. Oh, now we get to the real stuff. Uh-huh. Okay, now. I'm sorry. That's just nasty. I'm not trying to be fun. Can you even bite this shit? Is there anything on the inside of it? Hell no. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, it is. Oh, wait. No, is that just my... Yeah, that's just because you did it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it is something on the inside. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, hell no. What is that? <laughs> yo, yo. Hey, look. Bet they juice this. Man, Mm-mm. hey. That is funny. Y'all ain't right. Hey, that's funny. Mm-mm. Yo, okay, so this is a Napoleon candy. And I by far and I by I, far say this is the worst thing I've ever tasted. I don't know what in the world. Uh-uh. No, I need to read up on that. What in I the don't world? even want to read up on that. This is nasty. Uh-uh. And I yo Oh, it's a Dutch praline. What no, the? it's not. That's not it. That's not it. They don't have it in here. Oh, y'all yeah. would leave it out. I guess it's... No, it's right there. Oh. It's, uh, it's Napoleon Zwartwit. Hold on, let me see. Zwartwit. Okay. Do you consider yourself a fan of salty snacks? It's time to put that to the test. This may look like regular candy, but it's Samyak. A famous salty licorice beloved through the throughout the Netherlands. Yes, salty licorice. It tastes as interesting as it sounds, if not more. But the Dutch love to procure your parents. Uh-uh. Yo, well, I'm sorry, but the Netherlands, no disrespect, but y'all can keep that. Because exactly. that is the ultimate worst. If they talking about salty. I don't know why it was spicy to me or something. It wasn't spicy. It was just trifling. Like, I didn't even want to <laughs> even... Uh-uh. Uh, I can't uh-uh. even describe the taste because it, it was that nasty. I'm scared like, to even try the other ones because I just feel like... No, nah, I'm, I'm still up for it. Um, I'm still up for it. All right, come that, on. But, but by far, that was trifling. That was. Yeah. Now, the Holland yeah, Hoppers. These are the Holland Hoppers. Since 1862. Let's see what they was tasting. Now, what kind of stuff they was into in 1862. Now, I, I hope, I, I got a feeling that this might be a little bit better than that shit there because that was nasty. It smelled better. That was nasty. It smelled like vanilla or something. Yeah, it smelled like a vanilla bean mm-hmm. or some of that nature. Okay. Well, bottoms up. One, two, three. Tastes like coffee. It tastes like. I taste coffee. I don't taste coffee. I taste coffee. It tastes more like a. Mm. 
Let me tell you something. Like a hint of coffee. Is it caramel? No. Mm-mm. It's like I'm a tasting coffee though. Espresso. Tastes like a. I'm tasting like a. Espresso. Yeah, like a latte. But like chocolate infused, like a chocolate infused latte. Mm -hmm. Like a, not even but it's a smooth. It's not not a mocha. It tastes like. Mmm. I can't describe. I taste espresso. It put it like this. It tastes healthy as a bitch. Tastes like. It tastes like Splendor. Yeah, it's not too much. It's not too overpowering. It's not too sweet. Like, like it don't taste like chocolate, but it don't taste like. It don't taste like. It tastes like. I don't know how to describe it. It's sweet. Now, I wouldn't say I'm the a fan of it. Mm -hmm. Like, I if if if. I had a chance to buy this in the store, I would not purchase it. I would. No, I wouldn't. It, 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 mm -mm. It's sweet. It, it has, okay. It's not too sweet, but it's sweet enough to make you want to keep, you know, eating it. It has an espresso taste. Put it like I this. Eat it, but I wouldn't eat it. Put it like this. I wouldn't if, eat too many of them. If you had some coffee or some hot chocolate, it'll be a good creamer to... Like make it taste better, you know what I'm saying? It'll, it'll it'll sweeten up your your drink. I like it. Versus putting some actual sugar in it, because nah, I'm not a big fan of that either. I like it. All right. All right. So that was the all the hoppers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we gotta break that in half. So let's see. Let's see. How you like it so far though? I like it. I like the chocolate, the candy, but I don't know. It's hurting my teeth. But I don't want that. All right. I'll just taste it. Yeah. Yeah. That was a little bit better than what we just had. That, that uh, Napoleon. That, that, that shit. Yeah, yeah. That's mm -hmm. trifling. No. Okay. Now this the crispy hazelnut. It looks like a truffle. Yeah, it looked like a Wonder Ball filled nope. with. Nope, you know what it looked like? It looked like those truffles that you get from um, what's the truffles? Uh, Russell's is it Russell Stover truffles? Yeah, like the like it looks like the like the um the um the candy you get from um like you get the, like the Valentine candy or or the holiday the high, like the holiday candy. Where you get the assorted flavors, yeah, and the different kind. No. It, it looked look like, like a, a Ferrero share, but without the nuts outside. All over it. Yeah, that or or it look like a Wonder Ball. Okay. One, two, three. Yo, yo. Mm. Now that's good. Mm. Yo. I like that. Ooh, it's it's creamy and smooth. It tastes like a, it tastes like the Nestle Crunch Bar, just without it being a Crunch Bar. Mm -hmm. And it got chocolate. It got milk chocolate on the inside. That shit is good. I like it by far. That's good. And last but not least, the cappuccino candy. Cappuccino candy. Like I say, this is our first time doing this. You too. I'm sorry if we took forever in the day to get them to do this, but this our first time doing it. It'll get, and it'll get better in time. I mean, yeah. But now we're on the last piece of candy. Okay. And like I say, if y'all like this, just like the videos and stay in tune with us as we continue on getting these packages every month. And updating y'all on everything we try. Ow, baby. Okay. So this is the cappuccino candy. Okay. Cappuccino candy. Okay. It smells like a cappuccino. Uh huh. It smells exactly like a cappuccino. Yes, it do. All right. And it has the same texture as um as that other one. As the hazelnut one. All right. One, two, 
Three. Tastes just like a cap down cappuccino. I hope this shit don't keep us up. Mm-mm. I don't think it will. Not me. Shoot. It tastes like, tastes like a coffee bean. Mm-hmm. Like, just without no... It tastes like coffee before you got them and sprucing it up. Mm-hmm. Black coffee. Yes. It's, tastes just like black coffee. It's strong. Mm. Very strong. It's like they took the uh, coffee grains and like... Just added it to the chocolate. Like, um, blended it up and put it in chocolate. Yep. But Let me have some of that water. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Mm-mm. That's a bit much. That's a bit much. Yeah. What? See, I didn't have any. All right. I wasn't getting any. Now it's time to do the official Yum Awards. And the official. And we're going to tell y'all how we feel about the candies and everything that well, was valued in it. Mm-hmm. And we're going to do this together. All right. All right. All right. Now, the first off was the cookie. The Coco Stroop Waffles. No, the Coco, the Choco Stroop Waffles cookies. Made by Alex, made by Max and Alex Cookies. Let's say to me, by far the best. Well, I say that was the best, cause I, I out of all everything I tasted, that cookie stood out. Like that caramel was just right. Yeah. Well, put a check beside that one. Well, no, we got the. We, I want to see what what you what how you feel about. It was good, you but I guess it depends on how you feeling. You know, like some people have like. No, I mean, food. I mean, this is my. Out of this, all the snacks, was that the favorite? That's my favorite. It wasn't mine. Okay, yeah. So for me, that's my favorite. And what is it? What is it? Is it your? Okay. It's, I would have to say second best. Okay, this is gonna be pulled. I'm gonna say that was my my first bet. That was the best thing to me. And I, for Tay, it was my second. Second best. Say hey YouTube. That's hey, Tay. Yeah. All right. Hey. Now, set second off is the fruit snacks by Auto Drop. Mm-mm, go ahead and yeah, you know. these. That's nasty. I'm going to say that's the worst candy. Uh-uh. No, I'm going to say to me, weirdest. to me, I would say that's the worst because really? of the fact that that wasn't the worst thing I tasted. But that was second to the worst thing I tasted. So, for me, that's going to be worse. And what about you? Did you say that's the worst? I think worst? it was the... Weirdest. Okay, you said that was the weirdest? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, we got the chips, the pinchatas. You know, made by Chio or Chow, however you pronounce that. And what you think? How would you say that is? Is that the best, the second best, the worst, or the weirdest? I would have to say it's. I don't. That's not the worst. Um. Can you put it more than once? I don't know. I think. Well, we gonna put our own twist on it because I think it was weird too. I think that would be the weirdest to me, too. That's going to be weirdest to you? Yes, because I can't give it my best slot. But it's it's crazy because it's only four things to, to, to pick from. Either That's what best, I'm saying. Second best, worst, or weirdest. So, to me, I would still put that as... Uh, the chips, I would say that would be, to me, I would say second best. Mm, Even though that's that. not considered my not second best. Me. If I even know if I had to choose second best or best or something. But I'm saying I'm I'm just saying like it's that's the only four categories it goes under. Yeah. So it's like 
I'm it, regardless if it wasn't your second best, it's still then under it, that category versus because it wasn't bad or it, weird taste. It wasn't. I ate like ten. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't bad or weird taste. So I would just say second it best because okay. I can't say that well, this yeah, was the best. Go ahead, put it as, as that because it wasn't weird. Like it had a okay flavor. It's just I guess I would say it's weird because it's like kind of it's different. It's very peculiar. All right. Okay. Now, the next up was the biscuits. The, biscuit. the cheese. You want some more of these? Not right now. Now, I'm still going to say that wasn't the best. That was the second best. And you know what? To me, because, the best. Because of the fact that that wasn't the best to me. Mm. Even though they were good, like. Ooh, that would be so good with some so ranch. Would you, uh, second best or best? Best. You said that was the best? Mm-hmm. Okay, so. I'm going to eat some of those with some uh, Hidden Valley Ranch. So, Tay said that was the best. I still go with second best. Because mm-hmm. like I say between them cookies and that crispy hazelnut, Mm-mm. that was the love. Now, I this mean, it was smooth, but. Okay, and I, that's not up here actually. The hazelnut. Yeah, the hazelnut I one is not up here. I bet that nasty tail uh ne- ne- It's up there, and I'm I, I'm about to go ahead and mark that I because know. that was the weirdest Way and worst. worst. Weirdest and worst. That weirdest was worst. I choose both of them, weirdest and the worst. Yes, awful. I went out the line for that one. That's for yours too. Yes, that mess was. It was horrible, y'all. We are not, like, exaggerating. Look at him trying to steal my crackers, y'all. Y'all see him trying to take my crackers? Look at this. You're on camera. Yeah, we can agree to that. What about the uh, cappuccino? Eh, second best. I wasn't a big fan of it anyway. It was all right. Mm, I wasn't. It was nasty to me. It was too overpowering, but I would choose... um, I would choose second best, I guess. Because it wasn't that weird. It was just very strong. Yeah, okay. I choose second mm-hmm. best as well. Now that... Who, that Holland Hoppies. Mm-mm. I, that was that weird. That was good. That that's was, the smooth one that you did. I'm going to say, yeah. I I'm, liked it. I'm going to say that's a... that's a, That has a funny taste. Or I would say weird. I liked it. That... Yeah. That go. you like it, so that's what mm-hmm. second base. Um, uh, yeah. Cause I personally, yeah, I wouldn't buy that candy if, if it saved my life. What I would? No, that that's not something I, I would be liking. <laughs> All right. Like, wait, I want to play the puzzle. What's the puzzle? That's a fun fact. Fun did you with know? Items. Did you know that 30% of all language is made up of expression? For the Dutch, it's more like 90%. Their conversations are brimming with colorful items and slang decoding all aspects of every life. Can you fill in the blanks to complete the common Dutch items for the animals and household product? Blank plus toad equals turtle. What? Peanut plus equals butter. Blank plus... Blank... Bear equals polar bear. Huh? What? Hand plus equals glove. Ear blank equals earring. Okay. Am I missing something here? (laughs) Not really. So, okay. So. Blank toes. Alright, now look. I say with the ice. I was put that with the bear, polar bear, with the toe, with the shield, toe, that's the turtle because of the shield. I would say cheese because, oh, wait, equals bat. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, what? So I, okay, I would, I would, I, I would assume the wing mouse equals bat because of the wing. Okay. Bell, now I'm thinking, uh-uh. I would I would say bells equal to earrings and hand the shoes equal to gloves, hand shoes equals gloves. Uh uh-uh, uh, cause I would have gave the shoes the gloves shield to like shield your hand from whatever. 
But what about what about the toad? The turtle. That's why I say see this that's what the purpose of the turtle shell is for the shield. I guess. Alright, y'all. So that was our first video. Yeah. It took long enough, but <laughs> those were the fools from what about what about school? What about? Yeah. But those were the fools from the Netherlands or Van Gogh. And this was the Young Box Challenge. Um Overall, it was a great experience. I like it. I mean, everybody has their taste, and everybody does what they do best, but uh, I guess that sums it all up. So, stay tuned for the next video, and we will see where we go next. Woo. By the way, my name is Pope. I'm Tay. And this, and is, this is the Pope and Tay channel. Peace.